also we need a way to get our ID to this this location right here now the thing is uh, in the data when we say uh, let me come back here to this function the function which is show edit products this one quite right has an ID there um, yeah which we didn't need because we got it from here anyway so this is uh, edit id is equal to oh okay so this is clever right here so instead of having the id from there because this is uh outdated now the edit id is going to be equal to info info id so Instead of info.description here, let's put info.id so that we now have the ID saved right here. Okay, so now we can use that edit ID anywhere. So which we're going to come here to the edit function and use it right there. Alrighty then, that solves our problem. So let's see if we can get our edit number correct so this one is product number six okay so if i hit save and go back to inspect the console i will find that i do have an id of six indeed in there okay so things are looking good on the information collection point everything seems fine so let's go back to our class right now so at this point, this is now valid because we do have a data ID. So then there's description. So let's come back here and see what other items we need to add. So description, there's quantity, category, price. So I'll just copy these for a second. So we don't need data type. I just want these guys here for reference so we'll delete that code but there's that and let's change from description to quantity uh -huh. and then we will change from quantity to category and then we will change to price Okay, so we have the ID, we have the description, quantity, and price. Okay, very good. So we can remove all this here. And so we can add all these to the update statement. So set description is equal to that, and then let's put a comma. What we have to do now is duplicate this a couple of times, two, three, four, five, remove the very last comma don't forget that so description here let me change that to uh, price i guess and let me change this one to category and then let me change this one to quantity Okay, so quantity, category, price. What else remains? Quantity, category, price. This description, which is already there. And that's about it. So these two are not needed no more. Oh, it's just one. Okay. Where ID is equal to ID. All right. So looking good. <clears throat> so right there uh yeah update that looks fine so the only thing now is we needed to add these things to an array like the way we did here instead of there so all i need to do is copy just this part here and then uh, i'll deal with that one later let me just paste here boom control uh, right and then close that like that so they're in the array now and then here because we did use this so description is already there data description so let's remove that 
let me move the ID to the top there and I need to use data like that and remove this okay so we have all the data inside our array set to the right things and then we are editing it there all right so looking good so now this editing is without images so let's try and see if nothing is wrong with this so far so i will refresh and what i want to change is the quantity to nine so i will click edit and just change that one thing and hit save okay so what's going on here so there's a fatal error in here it says uncaught error call to member function get one on no so this is in uh, the product class on line 140 okay <clears throat> so let's look at line 140 where is 114 right here okay so the model is no so we already know how to solve this problem so i'll go back to ajax.php here it's the make table that doesn't have what we need so we're just going to copy from the very top here where we did the add product thing <clears throat> and since category is already set here we actually set it here so i can just give it a copy and then go to the edit product right here on make table let's put an actual thing there so now i will refresh the page and i'll see that there's a nine but uh, let me edit it to 10 this time and hit uh, save so let me close this and hit save Oh, oh, what is wrong now? Console.log. So everything was returned uh, as normal. It's just that it's saying e.current target is undefined. So show edit product. That's where the problem is. Handle result and then show edit product again. Why is it going back there? So let me click here again. Hmm. So from handle result, it goes that side. So let's see why that is. So we go back to products.php and then let's go to handle result. So handle result, there it is. And then there's add new and then there's edit product. And then there's show edit product. So this is supposed to um, this is supposed to close that box but as usual because we've changed the contents of this thing so that's why it's causing this error just like we did with uh, where was that show edit product where are we let's find it collect data we show edit product okay so one two three Okay, so it looks uh, fine. So it's saying e.current target is not found. Okay. No, this is understood. Now, this is because when we are calling it again, we're not using an event. We're just setting this to true. So it's complaining that uh, this is nowhere to be found because that's just true. And then we need this here. Hmm. So we need to find a way where um, show edit. Okay, so what I will do is let me check what the content of this is. So I will come here and say something like uh, because really what I want when I don't provide that is just to close to to close or open the thing and this is the code that does that okay so i can skip all this here if e is not set so i'll say if if not e like this 
like that. <clears throat> and then I will move this all the way down here. Then I can shift everything over so that we can see that it's inside that if statement. So instead of if not E, I'll say if E, then let's do all this. If not, let's just deal with this here. So instead of true, I will put false there. So let me go back to handle result. Where are we? Oh, so I did put false there. Very good. Okay, so it should work this time. So I will refresh and I will change it to 11. And then hit save. Uh -oh. more problems so let's go back and see what error do we have show ad box is undefined so same place where we have the problem so let's go back up 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 one more time yeah so it's saying show ad box is not defined so why where are we supposed to divide to define this? Let me do that. So we are supposed to define it from here. Okay. So this has nothing to do with uh, the E. So clearly I can move this particular piece of code up here. It's of no consequence if I move it outside there because it doesn't have anything to do with E. So hopefully this time it will actually work. <laughs> so let's click edit one more time, push it one number further, and then let's hit uh, save. Okay, so it's done. This time it actually did work. And now I can remove the console.log show where is that? Console.log right there. Out. And then, uh, yeah, that, uh, that should do it. So click one more time. Let's move it to 13 and let's put a two there so that we can see more change. Change a few, a bit of the price and save. <coughs> So it didn't refresh the page. It closed that thing, but it didn't refresh the page. So let's find out in the next video why that happened. <laughs>